What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for my top 5 personal favourite Solomon classes in Adventure Quest Worlds. Now these classes are going to be the best picks you can choose if you're looking for a new Solomon class to use in Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, the way I chose these classes was I looked for classes that could survive a boss fight and they also would deal lots of damage. Now I mainly looked for damage in these classes because um, most monsters that you're going to come across in Adventure Quest Worlds aren't going to need the best survivability in the game. They're only really going to need just a simple heal. So while the healing is a factor and staying alive is an important factor, it wasn't much of a deal breaker in this, in this uh, list. Now, in terms of the damage numbers that I'm going to mention, I mentioned the word DPS quite a bit, and that just stands for damage per second. Now, a lot of you guys probably won't have heard of that, but heard of that before, but if you play other MMORPGs, then that should be familiar to you. It basically just means that this class, the, the higher that number is, the better that class is at dealing damage. I got those DPS numbers by getting the monster that I soloed to get my times for these classes, and then I divided the monster's health um, by the time in seconds for each class and I got those times by soloing the monster 10 times each per class So these numbers should be fairly accurate. So without any further ado, let's get into the top five best soloing classes in Adventure Quest Worlds Coming in at number five we have Arch Paladin. Now this is an interesting one because Arch Paladin actually has really really good survivability It'd probably be first or second best on this list for survivability, but its damage numbers are where it starts to lack. However, this still is one of the best damage dealers in the game, so keep that in mind. Um, in terms of its kit, it's a real, just a classic, easy class to use. It's got a, just a stackable buff on the first ability, you got your heal, you got your uh, survivability, to sort of increase, I guess, on its uh, third ability, and then finally you've got a nuke, which then deals most of the class's damage. Um, it's really just a simple combo, it's really quite easy to use, and it's just a it's just a really good soloing class. The damage numbers are pretty damn good. It, it gets 1,160 damage per second um, on average, which is pretty decent. Um, and so yeah, that's Arch Paladin coming in at number five. At number four, we have Legion Doom Knight. Legion Doom Knight is again a quite an easy class to use. You've got your buff on your first ability, your stackable buff. You've got your heal. You've got your kind of I guess two nukes. I guess you could call it. Both of these last two abilities they they do various other effects to, that might increase your survivability. Um, but it also, they do large damage, and so you're essentially just buffing yourself up, healing yourself as you need it, and then dealing large damage. Now, speaking of the damage, the DPS for this class is 1,506 DPS, and by the way, at the end of the video, I will have a graph displaying uh, all the, the numbers, I guess a chart showing which uh, class is better in terms of its DPS. But uh, yeah, as for now, we have 1,506 DPS on Legion Doom Knight. At number three, we have Stone Crusher. Stone Crusher... It's a pretty different class, I guess you could call it. It gets a lot of its damage from uh, DOTs, and uh, how that works is you pretty much are just buffing your damage output with your first ability. You're then getting uh, shorter cooldowns and just various other effects and such, and you'll heal from your second and third ability, and you're dealing a big nuke and some really strong DOTs on your last ability. This combo makes for not only really good survivability, but um, a really, really good amount of damage output. We're getting about 1,633 DPS. Now, this was actually interesting because Stone Crusher's DPS numbers were very, very similar to Legion Doom Knight's. So both of these, uh, Stone Crusher and Legion Doom Knight, are quite similar in terms of their damage output. Um, however, I do think Stone Crusher has better healing and uh, it has slightly better damage output. It's only slightly. Um, and in some cases, Legion Doom Knight actually did get faster times than Stone Crusher, but um, overall, the averages showed that Stone Crusher was slightly faster at 1,633 DPS. Now this is where it starts to get interesting. At number two, we have Lightcaster. Lightcaster has a pretty decent heal. We've got about 1k non-crit on its heal, so it stays alive. Um, and you've got another ability which sort of increases the survivability. But it's really the damage output that makes Lightcaster shine. It's got a very, very similar kit to Arch Paladin. However, this class deals much, much more damage. Arch Paladin was 1,160 DPS, Lightcaster has 1,812 DPS. So Lightcaster is uh, really, really good for its damage output. And it doesn't have anywhere near as good a survivability, but I do think that, that the damage output is much more valuable here. Um, and Lightcaster will be absolutely fine in terms of survivability in most circumstances in AQW. So if you're looking for a class that can deal lots of damage and stay alive quite well, not the best, but it's, it's fairly good, then uh, Lightcaster is your guy. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, we have 
Void High Lord. There was not really much doubt surrounding that. If you've seen my other videos on my channel, then you'll know that Void High Lord is a really, really good soloing class. And uh, I have already compared it to Lightcaster, and I guess you guys can can determine how that went. But yeah, no, Void High Lord is just incredibly good for soloing. There's no doubt that Void High Lord is the best soloing class in the game. There might be some contention about the other picks I've made. You know, uh, Lightcaster might not be the second best soloing class, or you know, Arch Paladin might not be the fifth best or whatever, but there is no denying that Void High Lord is the best soloing class in Adventure Quest Worlds. So why? Well, Void High Lord has really good survivability. It's got several abilities which increase your your decrease rather the damage you take, and then it's got a really really good HOT which you can use, and then it's also got a life steal ability which makes for an incredibly good survivability kit. And you've also got um, some endurance sort of I guess weighted statistics on this class which means that it has more health than most classes in the game and then on top of that your passives um, increase your damage resistance by 20% on top of all of what I just mentioned so you have incredibly high resilience with this class which means you can take on bosses like Desolich and come out on the other side fine although it did take me 90 minutes to solo Desolich so that was a bit of a bit of a bit of a doozy but Desolich has like 8, 8 million health so it's not that much of a big deal either way Void High Lord has the best DPS in the game, no doubt about it. Its DPS is 2,507, which is 700 higher than Lightcaster. So, to put that in perspective, Lightcaster is 700 higher than Arch Paladin, while Void High Lord is 700 higher than Lightcaster. So, you've really got a massive difference between Void High Lord and Arch Paladin, even though they're both some of the best soloing classes in the game, which kind of speaks to how amazing Void High Lord really, really is. Um, its survivability, like I said, is the best in the game, and its damage output is the best in the game. There's really no denying that Void High Lord is the best soloing class in the game, um, and I guess we can just hope that the server rewrite not, not necessarily nerfs this class, but perhaps makes it a bit more balanced. Um, I guess nerfing it would be the only thing you could do there, but I do think that would be a good decision because there's really no more classes that can come out in this game that would uh, really open up the opportunity for classes to be better than Void High Lord. I, I mean, how do they how do they top Void High Lord? It's incredible. Either way, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any suggestions in the comment section down below if you want to see any other top fives on my channel. I'm willing to do anything. Peace.